I've been born in the church. I've been one of the blessed few that have never not been in the church. And I always thought it was exaggerated or fake. The manifestation of the Holy Spirit, laughing, doing what you do, Wes, just... Hey, I didn't used to do this. <laughs> I never understood it. And I came into one of your classes, your first year class, at 9 a.m. in the morning, and I saw about 15 kids in the back of the auditorium laying on the ground laughing, manifesting under the Holy Spirit. And I was so offended. I, I was like, oh, my gosh, they're going to fake it at 9 a.m. in the morning. And, just, just like those 120 others in the book of Acts, right? Right, just like this. And, and then I saw you come in doing that. And, <laughs> and I've had class with you before, and you usually don't do that. So I knew something was, something was different. But I couldn't feel anything. But I was still hungry for the Holy Spirit and still wanted to feel the Holy Spirit. I wanted... If there was something going on, I wanted to be a part of it. So I sat down in the corner and just closed my eyes, feeling absolutely nothing, while others were feeling, you know, the few were being really sensitive to the Holy Spirit. But I was offended, but I just gave the Lord everything. I just said, God, encounter me. I am hungry, and I want to experience you. I do not want to prohibit myself from knowing you. And I had a friend with the deliverance antenna on. She comes and prays for me. The deliverance antenna. And she's like, Bailey, you have a fear of man and you have false humility on you. And so I start repenting and renouncing. And then she throws me in front of two IHOP leaders that pray for me. And what they start praying is just really self-hatred prayers and I start they start praying there is no flaw in you he loves you and, and I I don't know what happened but I could hear myself screaming like an it like a deep deep scream something that I don't think I've ever released before and then after that I was one of the craziest in the entire room at 9.30 in the morning she was crazy she was crazier than me yeah I, uh, <laughs> I think I was the craziest person in the room and Corey would go by me and he's like oh still going <laughs> I was screaming and yelling and shaking and dancing and just manifesting like I don't know if I've ever seen anyone before this do and, but more than just manifesting, I, I was encountering God in a way that I have never encountered him before. For six hours, just lies were broken off of me. Self-hatred, it left. Like a, like, some, like a garment I've been wearing, I was able to take it off. Lies, the lies just stopped and in, in their place. The teaching that I've heard, I'm a third year student. I've heard a lot of good teaching. It, instead of just settling in my mind, it was imparted in my spirit and I could actually feel the love of God. The lie that I love God more than he loves me was broken off of me. And, the, and just familiar scriptures. John 14 came alive to me and I... I now can experience the Father's heart. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Oh. I know he loves me. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> it makes the first commandment a lot more enjoyable when you know that he loves you. <laughs> I guess I just want to say that you do not want to not experience the Holy Spirit, whether it's manifesting or not. You want to give him everything. He's here. He's so tangible. He's given this body a gift. He's even showing up in our wind stream. And we want to give him everything. We want to say, God, take away false humility. Take away the fear of man and encounter me. I want to feel everything. I want knowledge up here to be imparted deep in my spirit. I want to love you more than I've ever loved you. And more than that, I want you to love me 
more than I've ever felt your love. Thank you. Just increase, Lord, on Bailey right now. We ask you. As you have delivered her heart into your love, Lord, let her be one who delivers others into your love. Come, Holy Spirit, rest upon her in an increased measure tonight. Refresh her heart, Lord. Jesus. Jesus, thank you, Lord.